Thank I you. love you. That's all I want to say. I love you. You're my boy. You are the best in the business. Everyone needs to go follow. You're the best, Rick. We love you. We love you. <laughs> um, let's see. All right, Joe, we'll start with you. Um, obviously, you come from a different kind of background of reality TV than the rest of the cast. What kind of expectations did you have heading into the show? Zero expectations. <laughs> um, but I just, I, I just honestly, I wanted to have a good time. It was a new experience. So that was kind of my mindset um, going in. And the truth, like th there are a lot of Bachelor people that are now st starting to go on different competition shows and and doing pretty well. So I don't know mm -hmm. what it is about our franchise, but um, yeah, I think we, we, I think we do okay in uh, in other shows. So I went in there feeling good. Uh, Justin, episode three. I, one of my first times I've ever seen this happen, um, we had a uh, competition thrown to ultimately get you tossed out of the house. Oh. It didn't exactly go the way that it was planned. What did you think about the plan when you found out about it? That's right. I, well, I was gobsmacked. I, <laughs> you see me in the challenge. I'm like, everybody, you did good. High five. You gave it your all. The teacher and me was like, it's all right. We'll get them next time. And, and then uh, Lauren is like, Justin, now that was an act. Did you see that performance? I'm mm. like, girl, what are you talking about? And so for me, I just thought this is not what I signed up for. Okay. I would understand if I was going on Survivor, mm -hmm. Big Brother, uh, you know, a show that entailed the, the challenge or something like that. This is The Goat hosted by Daniel Todd. Mm -hmm. I mean, are we serious? CJ said it in the trailer. I'm not going to be that invested in a show called The Goat. <sighs> um, so I was a little like shocked. But then when I heard who rallied and choreographed the whole scene, not so much. I think I was just more like disappointed. Like you guys, look, we all came from this different walks of life. We're living in a house together, sleeping on twin beds. Let's just have fun. Mm -hmm. Let's have fun. Let's have, I mean, we're competing in an untalented talent show the day before in front of William Hung. Mm -hmm. Let's have a good time. And I just didn't think it was in good spirit. But here's the thing. No, you it, it you is and I really competed in that competition. Because we, <laughs> no, we went back. Yeah, let's do it. I just I got you at the end. Because I was really dizzy when we were going to the When Joe against me, I knew they were like, you're going against Justin. I knew, I knew it. So I was like, he has long legs. Get to those tires. I caught you at the end. I caught you at the tires. I was. I want a rematch. But yeah, season two, y'all look out. We might be making an appearance for that one challenge. But one challenge, one challenge. And then, of course, obviously, CJ, you played a pivotal role in that plan not coming to fruition. What kind of made you want to flip sides in that moment? I think the there was no true girls' alliance. It just was messy. We got Tasha like it, they they just they they flipped immediately. I don't know what they're talking about with the girls' alliance. And for me, I had formed a really strong relationship with somebody, and that means more to me than than a silly show, you know. And I felt the need to stand up for. You, you can't just push push people around, you know. And I think that everyone thought that I was this sort of person, and I'm not. I'm not. And I, I think people probably thought that they could just control you. And you were like, uh, no, not me. <laughs> you know, I didn't. I love Lauren and I really was not trying to come for her at all. But, you know, given my options, I had to I had to do everything I could for, for Justin. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, all right. So we talked. You, you mentioned it. We had the untalented talent show. Joe, first to you. My question is, do you have a hidden talent? I have no hidden talents though. When we when I found out we had to do a talent show, I was like, "Oh, you gotta be kidding!" No, so you have uh, you marketed a spaghetti sauce. <gasps> yeah, but I can't. Yes. But I'm not gonna be able to perform that in a talent show. But wait, did you actually sauce. make the concoct? Yeah, concoction yeah, but I wouldn't be. You know, in a in a in a talent show like the one on the show, like yeah, no, no real hidden talents. You know, I, I, uh, yeah, what you see is what you get. That's my, <laughs> C That's my CJ. Do you <laughs> CJ? Do you have a hidden talent, CJ? A hidden talent. Mm. Yeah, she's hilarious. I can't even believe you're thinking oh, about oh, this. Oh, I'm sneaky funny. Sneaky funny. You're hilarious <laughs> without, you're, you're just, you're. Well, that's not good that you hide it. She's hilarious <laughs> without, <laughs> without having to be funny. She's hilarious. Literally. I'm like, I don't know why I'm trying to help y'all find y'all's hidden yeah, talent. Right. <laughs> pull out of us. Yes. I'm like, she's, you're so, you're so much more than just a beautiful, striking human. Aww. You are funny and candid 
and you just wouldn't expect that. You know, I don't think you would be like, you would look at CJ and go, that's a comedian. She's a comedian. This lady right here is a comedian. I'd buy a ticket to the show. You know, ba baby, I think my, I, I, I found my talent now. I think it is finding the light and really the darkness and having fun when it got so intense and finding your group of people that made you feel grounded and enjoy a show called The Goat. That's the dumbest thing. And that is a talent, girl. You did that well. <laughs> all right, so this is a fun one. You guys all come from different reality TV shows. Which of your former fellow castmates would you like to see partake in a possible second season of The Goat? Justin, first to you. Oh my gosh. Okay, which contestant I want to see go back on the goat? Go for a season. Which which former castmate you had on a on one of your other reality shows would you want to come oh, on? Oh, one the of go? my other reality yes. shows. Yes. Ooh. I mean, does RuPaul count? Because yes. if RuPaul <laughs> walked up into the goat manor, everybody say love. And they tried to come for her. That lady would be uh sashaying away people left. And right, honey, she would, <laughs> that would be hilarious. I, I mean, to yeah. see RuPaul on another show outside of Drag Race is my ultimate dream. Whether it be the traitors, the goats, something, please, please. But I'm also manifesting that me and CJ go on the Amazing Race together. Amazing so if you race. know someone, please tell them to give us a call. We're in. I'm, I'm posting it. I'm going to post it tomorrow. <laughs> like producers. <laughs> CJ, what about you? You know, I would have to go with Nikki Glazer. Because she is multi, multi, multi talented, super serious, and her work ethic is unreal. She's really good with people and she's funny. Mostly she's, so she's funny. funny. And this show needs people that can bring that because it's Daniel Tosh. This is chaos. <laughs> Joe, what about you? I mean, I would say my wife, but I don't know if I want to do that to her. Oh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she deserves. I don't know if she deserves it. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with Kenny. Kenny from my second season of Bachelor in Paradise. I think he would be so much fun to watch, and he has the the perfect personality for it. Good. How are you, honey? Good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. Um, uh, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I don't even know. I got the giggles this morning. Jason, first to you. Um, you kind of come from a different kind of competitive background than the rest of the cast here. Obviously, so is Paolo here. But what kind of ex expectations did you have heading into the show? Well, you know, coming from the food world, of course, I was always the one being judged for the food that I was doing. And so it was a totally different competition that was going on. And I was like, OK, I'm a competitive person. Let's let's see what happens. So and I wanted to do something that was out of my element. And so I really didn't have a lot of expectation because I had never done anything like this. I just wanted to have a fun experience and really see how it went. So, uh, Paula, to you, early on the first couple episodes here, we see an attempted formation of an alliance with the girls. But as we see, it quickly crumbles. In your opinion, kind of what happened in that in that small time frame of, of, of time? Well, to be honest, I feel like uh, it's a lot of people and people that you don't know that you just met and you're trying to create something, but it doesn't work always the way it wants because you never know, like we can have something with the girls, but we don't know when the girls are talking with somebody else. So it's just, it's hard to keep up like an alliance, you know, but well, but we're trying to keep the girls together. That's what the whole plan was. <laughs> Uh, Jason, my favorite part of your strategy at the beginning here was cooking for everyone. Was that something you had kind of locked in before heading into the show? Well, yeah, you know, going into it, I mean, that is the one thing that I knew I had in my pocket was cooking. So I thought, you know, if I can keep everybody fed and happy, either they'll get real fat and they can't do the competitions or, you know, they're going to say, OK, well, we've got to keep the chef because he's got to keep cooking for us. So I had that to start out with. So that was kind of I kind of thought about that before we went into it. So, yeah. Yeah, I love the strategy. I mean, it works. I mean, we see, I mean, everybody was munching and it's like, how do you get rid of the one person feeding us? You know what I'm saying? I love it. Exactly. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't. Exactly. Paula, we see early on um, in one of my favorite moments, just because obviously at the end of the day, y'all guys were, it looks like y'all were having fun, but there's a lot of drama, all that good stuff. But we had a competition thrown early on in the show. 
which obviously ends up backfiring. Um, were you kind of shocked to watch it kind of unfold the way that it did? Yes, I was very, like, I didn't want to do it. I have my doubts that, like, I came to do this show, like, I have no idea. It's my first time doing something like this. Uh, but, you know, you want to believe in the people who have more experience and you follow through with that. But it was, it was a big mistake. It was a big mistake. And I don't think if I ever do a show again, I don't think I will do that again. No, I'm good. Yeah, I guess a follow up to that, Jason, to you, what was kind of like after everybody starts to see the or, and find figure out that the competition had been thrown? What was kind of like the atmosphere in the house about that? Well, you know, you had certain ones of us like Pal and myself were so competitive that we would we were like appalled at this. Why would you do this? Yeah. Because that, you know, I, I, you to me, where I come from, the morals that I have is you don't do things like this. So why would you do it? First of all, it's not going to get you any further. And second of all, then it makes you look like the elephant in the room. And really, that's kind of the way that, that the tension really built because half of us were like, why would you do this? Why would you even come across with this? So we didn't agree with it. And we were like, mm -mm, no, we ain't having none of this to do with this. So I also felt like it was very early in the game to kind of make that move. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you put a target yeah. on your back really, really fast. Yeah. It's, you um, know, you just, no, no, that was way too early. Yeah. It's just people <laughs> acting out of emotion. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. All right. So one of my favorite things early on is we have the untalented talent show. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> but, but I won't make you relive that up, even though you probably did when I said that, but I want to know, Paulo, first to you, what is your hidden talent? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, we're not talking about the show, right? Because you just no. see someone was milking. <laughs> so my talent wasn't that. I don't like, I think I can do it the opposite. Maybe I can milk the, the, a cow, but I don't think like, <laughs> to be honest, I, I didn't even know what I was doing. But I feel like in my uh, a talent, I don't know. I feel like I can do anything that I put in my mind. Uh, I don't know. I just try. Jason, do you have a hidden talent? I do. A lot of people don't realize that growing up, I played musical instruments. I played French horn and mellophone. And so that was something I, I can play musical instruments. So that's cool. Yeah. All right. I have a fun one for you guys. Obviously, you guys come from, you know, the Holiday Bacon Championship, Donnie Day Fiance. So, Paulo, first to you, which of your fellow castmates from a previous show would you like to see partake in a possible season two of The Goat? My husband. <laughs> I would like to see my husband how he how he do this. You know, I just did it. I would like to see him like try. Cause it's not easy. It's not easy to do that. Like, and I just and that will give me a little bit of time away from him. So that will be good. <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> Vacation for me. <laughs> Jason. Um, I would have to say I would love to see my good buddy David Rose from uh Food Network Star do it. Um, he would probably do very well in it. So yeah, he could, he could do great. All right. My final one is both to you, but Jason, to you first. And one of my favorite aspects of the show was the competitions, right? The creative way that they made these competitions. Jason, first to you, what was your favorite competition you competed in? Oh gosh, probably my favorite one that I competed in was, uh, gosh, I love them all. That's the thing. Like, they were all so very good, so very thought out that it would really be hard for me to pick out just one single one. Um, I would have to say not the first one because that was standing on a piece of wood and I don't, I'm not a ballet dancer. So, uh, but I would have to say I enjoyed them all. And if I could do them all again, I would, because I really enjoyed them. Paula, do you have a favorite one or two? To be honest... You need to watch the show to see <laughs> yeah. what, what's going on because I can't choose a favor. And it, there is a reason why. So that's why you got to watch the show and see why. You know why. But, oh, I know why. Yeah, I'm like, I, I, I love them all. Yeah. I love all the challenge, but yeah, some things happen. So yeah, that's one of the fascinating <laughs> things for me is when I was watching it, I'm just like, this is pretty good. Like, it's the creative minds of creating the competitions was really cool. Jason and Paul, thank you so much for your time today. Thank Lord, you. Thank you for having us. So I guess my first question to you is this. Obviously, your background 
isn't this. So whenever you come from a different kind of competition or different reality TV in general, what kind of expectations did you have heading into this show? Ricky, I have nine seasons of my own show under my belt. I roll into a competition show like whatever I get here is gravy. It's bonus. I have a scroll I can roll out. All my reality accomplishments, right? So coming into a show like this, it's just, I, I gra gratitude, I'm grateful. I had no expectations and it floored me how much I enjoyed being at Goat Manor and how amazing the goat was. Yeah, it's, it, there's a lot, of, obviously, every reality show is going to have that drama element to it, but there's the games. The games seemed a lot of fun. Now, the one I'm going to bring up, we're going to talk about the untalented talent show that we had, which was fantastic. Now, this is where we saw a little interesting strategy really come into play because, Reza, we all know you should have won that competition. You should have won. Ricky, what you don't know is we pull things out of, you know, arbitrary. We picked one. I'm Persian. I didn't watch my parents doing limbo. I don't know anything about limbo. It's not part of my wheelhouse. And they didn't give me any props other than the two sticks and the bar. So I'm looking at all these other contestants with all these props. I had to go and rummage through the leftover props. They didn't ask me to look like a beastly drag queen. That was all me. They didn't ask me to do those freaky dances. That was all me. I didn't think I would have any chance unless I brought some spice to it. But what I learned about competition shows is that people like Davon are there to change their financial trajectory. She's been on 150 competition shows and never won. So she's executing and using every tool in her toolbox from throwing competitions to doing whatever she needs to do to stack her deck. That's not what I was doing. I was there to have fun, make friends, and get as far as I could. Yeah, and I think the follow-up to that is, is we see, obviously, the throwing of the competition. We do see that completely backfired. What was it like? We Only in the episode that we saw, I saw there, there was only a little bit of like the behind the scenes. What was like the atmosphere in the house once everybody realizes a competition was thrown? So... Devon back channel wise was doing the most anyway. So it wasn't a surprise when Kristen was having her outburst because of those random votes that no one knew who it was. I was thinking to myself, I've seen enough Big Brother to know it's either Wendell or Devon. So I was giving Devon the side eye. She's like a single mom. She was talking about this money and like you knew. Like the way she was playing this game, like she had spoken to a realtor about a down payment on a condo because she thought this money was in the can. Like I did an impersonation of her in the house that you don't get to see. And I was like, hello, Coldwell Banker. Yeah, I'm calling about that listing. Yeah, that one. Well, if I put 200 down, what would my monthly payment be on that? Okay. Oh, I got to go. Okay. I'll call you back. So that vibe was something that was present throughout and you just had to kind of navigate around it. Yeah, and I, I, I really think I re that's one of the things I really enjoyed. And, and speaking of the competitions, these competitions were fun. Like whoever created them, there was some really thought behind them. Was there one competition in, in particular that you enjoyed more than any of the other ones? I did. It was actually the sandwich one where we were catching the tomatoes, the lettuce, and the bread, because the unpleasant Yenta, a.k.a. Jill, was making so many disparaging comments about me. Like, you would have thought I had a frenemy, an enemy in the house. Every chance this bitch, this lady got, she was throwing me under the bus. So it was great that I caught most of the things that came my way and that we won that challenge because, you know... With friends like her in the house, no one needed an enemy. For sure. And obviously, this is a mixed bag of reality TV and just personalities in general. Was there yeah. somebody that kind of maybe surprised you that you maybe befriended within the show? I have to say that Justin, like, I had no idea that I was going to leave Goat Manor with a new homie. 
like that I care about, that I want to stay in touch with the way I care about and want to stay in touch with Justin. Like he's become a true real friend and I loved every moment of interacting with him and getting to know him, kicking with him in the bed at night when the cameras were down. It was like adult sleepaway camp in a big mansion. And I was there to stop up all the crumbs and juices from it because those were the best moments. Not when Davon was, you know, winning a challenge or flexing her muscles, but it was those off times that you didn't get to see that were really the best. All right, my final question. This is a fun one. Ari, obviously your time in reality TV. So which of your fellow previous castmates would you like to see possibly partake in if there's a season two of The Goat? I would love to see my homegirl MJ or my homegirl Golnessa participate in The Goat. I don't think Golnessa would like the cohabitating aspect of it because I've worked with her for many years and know how <laughs> she feels about that. But I feel like MJ could kill the game and take the money home. Reza, thank you so much for your time today. I I loved watching you on the show. I it just I just had a blast with it. So thank you for your thank, time today. Thank you, Ricky. Appreciate you. All right, uh, Laura, I'll start with you. Um, obviously, your background in reality TV does not stem from any competition like atmosphere. I mean, unless you're competing for men, if that counts. But uh, any competition, um, what kind of expectations did you have going into the show? Uh, you know, going into the show, I just really wanted to have a good time. I wanted to meet some reality stars that I admire and do some physical challenges. But lo and behold, mm -hmm. that was not everyone else's plan. And it got real cutthroat and real savage real fast. So it was it was a whole new world for me, like a Latin child. Mm -hmm. I, I totally I totally agree. Joey, my first question to you is I really feel like you were you were I mean, I guess the right word is screwed over here because the first episode we see your team Along with Arnie, y'all won the first competition. And I will then... go to my grade defending this. We won that competition. We cleared what we were going yeah. to do to hear that we win. And then it's, re what? Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, but yeah, I'm sorry. It's very passionate, very passionate. <laughs> And I totally agree. And and of course, that led to the moment of your elimination in that first episode. What do you think maybe you could have done differently to maybe save yourself from that elimination? I could have played the game and kissed ass and told everyone stuff that wasn't true. And I just wouldn't do that because here's here's the thing. Things move very fast. There's a lot of people in this house. People know each other. Other people don't. I knew Lauren. I loved her. I knew I'd have her back every step. CJ, I looked at day one and I was like, yo, no one's going to think that you're going to be a, a competitor, but I think you will be. I always go with my gut. Those two people I wanted to invest in. Everyone else I was unsure of because the, I don't know these other shows. I don't know these other people. They're all nice. But like, let's say like Jill. I love Jill Zarin. Yo, Jill Zarin's the only human I've ever met who can talk more than me. I'm like, she is, she is going to be talking to everyone. And I don't know if, if she tells Jill's she's got me, if she's going to really have my back. So I think if I would have tried to play the game more and promise people stuff that it could have gone differently. However, what I will say is when I heard that I was on the chopping block, what I didn't really respect was just say you voted for me. I know what we're doing here. Yeah. I know what we're doing here. Like Same. I'm not sitting here. Like you just spit on my mother. Like we're making the goats. Yeah. Look at Joey. Love you, bro. Had to vote for you. So when people start acting sketchy, like you said earlier, you're like people can't look you in the eye. Man, as soon as you see everybody's head like this, you're like, oh, yeah. Bad news for me. Yeah, bad that news. that's where I'm just like, mm, okay, just for me as a man, as my own respects and principles, I just would have wished that would have went differently. Yeah, Lauren. Speaking of elimination, completely <laughs> blindsided, <laughs> completely blindsided. So as you sit there, oh. take oh. us through your mind as you hear your name for the first time, and then ultimately realize that this whole plan of sabotage. I don't want, she just it crumbles and you were at fault and of course eliminated because of it. Oh man, absolutely. Just that, you know, we're sitting there, we're at the elimination. They say someone else's name who I knew that was coming and then they said one for Lauren. I just felt this wave like go through my body, almost like a shock wave. But then like Joey said, that's when I looked around at everybody and everybody was like this, like nobody was looking at me. And that's how I knew like you mother yeah mm -hmm. like and i and then they just they just kept coming one for lauren one for lauren and honestly at the moment i'm the type of person that i get so pissed that it just comes off super calm 
So I was like really mad. That's dangerous. Oh, you you telling me? Yeah. Like, I took the show a little personal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm sitting there and I'm just like, you know, having this moment. And then they're like, Lauren, it is your time. And I oh. just got up and I'm like, thank you. But let me tell you, when I got home and when I got Were back you home, just like <laughs> yeah. I, spoke, I just unleashed mm -hmm. on Cam, like these motherfuckers. Everybody's but but yo, everyone's playing a different game. Yeah. Sure. Like I, I've been saying, like it, thinking back on it, they could have warned me though. You yeah. Know? Like, especially I wasn't in alliance with CJ. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you know what? I should have followed my gut and not Joey's. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is not always spot on. Like we I know if this is directionally correct. Not Joey. Yeah. So you know, yeah. There's that. Speaking of which, I have a fun one here. Obviously, you guys come from different reality shows. Um, and it looks like Netflix got the cut here. Um, but which of your previous castmates that you were on a show with would you like to see partake in a possible second season of The Goat? Shuby. I always say Shuby for everything. It could be, you could ask me who do I want on Love is Blind. I'd still say Shuby. Like, just throw that man into everything and it'll be hilarious. I will say Cam. I want to see him in a competition show. But then again, I'm still like super protective. So even watching, I'll be like, they better. Not. But see, now that I've been through it, I will give him all the, the insider information. But yo, where was Cam during? Like, I thought when I saw Lauren, Cam's going to be here. Isn't that like, let's put the husband and wife on because. That would be cool. But we would have been, but, we would have been targets. Been what like, if, oh, what if they turned on each other? We know the goat is cutthroat and that would have been great TV. What if Cam's like, baby, I love you so much and I'll see you at home. But I gotta let you go. <laughs> I mean, that's great television. Period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, in one of the episodes, they had an untalented talent show. Um, and Lauren, first to you, do you have a hidden talent that nobody knows about? I do actually. My hidden talent that no one knows about is that I have an amazing dolphin impression. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. A dolphin. Can I can I hear the dolphin? <clears throat> I mean, it's. I can do Donald Duck. It's been okay. You that was aggressive. I've been, I've been waiting thirty years for this, and I, that moment just came. I now I need the dolphin. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let me um, because this is <clears throat> wow. Okay. I'm I'm picturing. It. <laughs> Did that just come from? What? What? That Excuse me. Yeah, that's my dolphin impression. I I don't even know how I realized I could do that. It was just like one day. I don't even want to comment. It'll cheapen the experience. That was beautiful. <laughs> I was just in Sea World and I saw the dolphin. He's got to be free. Thank I you. saw it all. It was gorgeous. I mean, you know, it's a talent. Oh, Everybody. Hey, can. that's exactly what I was looking for with this Joey hidden talent. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I I I think the ability to spit any Eminem song, like I could do the fast part to rap God. Uh. I hidden talent. I'm an actor. Most people don't know that. They will know that my movie releases because they always, you know, say what you're yeah, you're an actor. No, 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 you're gonna see. And yes, and it's not all are gonna talent. see. Yeah. So I mean things like that. But if I had done the show, I think I would have done some stand-up and 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 just made fun of myself for a lot of things because there's a lot of material the there. Thing, I just put in pick. Pick. No. Lauren, I do have a question. Uh, I would like to follow up. The, the sound was not, I need it. Can, is there any way you can do it a little bit louder? We didn't oh get the Oh my dolphin. God, stop. I need, I need one more. It. it wasn't oh, very loud, you know what I mean? We'd love to get it on, you know, I'd love to capture it, you know what I mean? I cannot do this. This is how you're a star. Take two, <laughs> take twos are necessary. Oh, please don't make me. Here we go. Come on. Please. No. <laughs> You got just one more time, Lauren. This is this is all I got. This is this is my time right now. So that's all I'm asking oh, for. Oh, just... y'all really Here we only go. for you because Joey got Thank so you. excited when you came on. Okay, it's pressure the second time. <laughs> I feel like you had the sound the first time. You just wanted. I, to I swear to God, I swear to God, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Joey, Lauren, Ricky, I, I love, love you, buddy. I can't I love believe you, I did. Joe. Love you, I love you too. Love you guys. <laughs>